All right, today we're going to explore the difference between um, a regular right, sorry, I shouldn't say right line, a regular read line and um, read key. Because the question is, why would I want to use read key sometimes over other times? So the, I wrote a simple program here without looking at the code. First, I'll just run the program, okay? Um, I run the program, program prompts the user. Would you like to continue Y for yes or any other key for no? And for, the, for this example, I'm just going to type Y for yes, press enter and based on my if statement over here you notice it says you have chosen to continue um, my program will pause at this read line here and um, it's going to press a key press, press um sorry enter on this end and the program will stop let's run it again this time i'll enter n for no uh -huh. would you like to Continue, Y for yes, any other key for no. I just gonna let enter N for no. I press enter. Tells me you have chosen to quit. And currently it pauses for input at this line. So I just press enter, and I'm on to the end. So question is why do we use read key? Notice in this final run, before I modify my code, I would type Y if I wanted to continue. And I would still see the letter Y on the screen. I'll still see the cursor there, and then I'll have to press enter. What if I wanted to just type Y on the keyboard, and the program just continues? I don't want to get any visual feedback. I just want the program to continue. Use read key to achieve that. So, first to use read key, I have to enter this user's clause here: U S E S space C R T semicolon. Good programming practice. Compile me for the no errors. Good, no errors. All right, and all I'm gonna change is this line here, the read line, part where you get the data. I'm just gonna comment that. I'll compile. will completely ignore it, and I'm gonna set confirmation or confirm. C O N F I R M my string variable. I'm gonna set that equal to read key. That's our read key function. So now, if I compile, yay, no errors, and then run this program, run, I see it pops up. Would you like to continue? Now I'm going to type the letter Y to the keyboard, and I'm doing that now. Notice it accepts the input immediately without showing it to the screen, and my program tells me you have to continue. Let me try this again. I'm going to run my program again, and in this case, I'm just going to type the letter T. I've typed the letter T, it has run to its end. And that is why we use read key, and that is how we use the read key. I'll paste this code in the comments.